flirting. I know that there are so many women who come to me who don't have options in their love life precisely because they are not flirting in their everyday lives. Now, if you wanna be someone who's a really great flirter, someone who knows how to create attraction right off the bat, stay to the end of this video because I have a free gift for you that you're gonna love that's gonna allow you to do exactly that. First, I wanna show you something cool because flirting isn't the easiest thing in the world to understand. We could say that flirting is just showing interest in someone, but we know that's not necessarily true. If I just walked up to you and said, hey, I like you, you wouldn't necessarily say that's flirting, that's just my statement of how I feel. I think there's one other ingredient. Flirting is interest plus challenge. I'm gonna give you three specific real world examples to prove this. Now let's say in the first one, you go out tonight. You see a guy across the bar that you think is attractive. Now, if you were just demonstrating interest, you might look at him, stare endlessly, have three more drinks, then stumble over to him half drunk, and by the time you get there say, you're really hot. Now, if she was showing interest and challenge, she could start by simply looking at him until he sees her. Then when they catch eyes, she could look away as if she's just been caught out. Then she could look again and start building that tension a little bit. Now you may say, what is she actually doing in that moment to be challenging? But the challenge is inbuilt. All she needs to do is show a little interest because he has the challenge of having to walk over there and do something. Think about it, for a guy at that point, he's gotta have the courage to think of something to say and then walk across the room and open his mouth to this woman. Example number two. Let's fast forward this night. He's now asked for her number and they have parted ways. An hour later, he texts her saying, hey, it's Jason. She says, who? He's like, Jason, from the bar. She says, hmm, I don't recall. Unless you're that handsome guy with the nice shoes, winky tongue face. Love that winky tongue face. Now look, it would have been fine if he said, hey, it's Jason, and she said, hey, Jason, it was so lovely speaking to you. That would have been fine, but it wouldn't have been flirting. Flirting is that moment when she pretends not to know him and then all of a sudden, just as he's off balance, she swoops in with a compliment about him being handsome and having nice shoes. I was once told attraction is about keeping someone just a little off balance. And so we come to real world example number three. Let's flash forward a couple of weeks in their relationship. They've been seeing each other. They're having a good time. She's at work one day and she comes out of a meeting and texts him. I just finished a meeting and I definitely wasn't thinking about you most of the time. Okay, bye. Now again, if all she texted him was thinking of you, that would have been fine. It would have been a perfectly reasonable thing to say and it would have worked. But if we wanna turn this from a compliment into a flirtation, now we use this message. Because that moment where she says, I definitely wasn't thinking about you most of the time. It's a coy way of saying, I'm reluctant to admit to you that I was thinking about you the whole time. I'm being playful about that right now. I'm giving you a compliment, but I'm not at the same time. And then when I say, okay, bye. It's like, I'm out of here, you've had enough. I've, I've said too much already, I'm out. When she does this, she's taking a regular compliment and adding flavor to it. And it's that flavor that often makes someone excited and energized, it keeps them wanting more. And we have talked about this before, we have a term for it. The term is the bliss point. The bliss point is a food industry term that describes the optimal level of salty and sweet that keeps us wanting more of a food. And there is a bliss point to communication with men that keeps them wanting more of you. And I'm such a believer in this concept that I spent literally a year of my life designing a program called How to Talk to Men, where I give example after example of how to create that bliss point. Now I told you at the beginning of this video, I had a special gift for you. Here it is. In the How to Talk to Men program, there's an entire chapter dedicated to flirting. I want you to have that chapter, so I'm giving it to you for free today as my gift. 
And my hope is that once you experience the results from that chapter, you'll actually decide that maybe you wanna try the whole program. But even if you don't, I want you to enjoy the free chapter anyway. So all you need to do to get that is go to getthefreechapter.com and you can be reading it in the next 60 seconds. I will see you there.